What's up, YouTube? It's the dawn, where shit gets real. And today, I got a special one for you guys today. I got some really, really, really fucking tasty juice, and I got a cool little tank, okay? So, <clears throat> stay tuned, watch the whole video, because this is a good one. This is a good one. But first, <clears throat> we're going to be talking about some juice. It's called Big Top Craft E-Liquid. Never mind my dog. He's in the background scratching the food out of his damn bowl. One pebble at a time. Crazy. But anyway, let's talk about this juice. Let me take a toe. This guy was a fan of my YouTube channel, and he reached out to me and said, hey, I want you to try some juice. He said, I don't have no cereal flavors, but I'm going to send you what I got. I was like, okay, you know, I do, I do other things besides cereal, so send me what you got. So he sent me three flavors. And God damn. This shit is good. Now, I asked him, like I asked all the other people, send me a picture of your clean room, okay? So he did send me, I think, one picture of his clean room. But here's the thing with this guy. He comes up with his recipe, and then he sends it off to a lab to have them make it, okay? So, <clears throat> unfortunately, the lab, you know, they went on vacation this week. So I told him, there's no way I'm going to be able to keep this juice another week. It's, it's going to be gone. It's going to be gone. So let me talk about it now. Now, I will post a picture that he did send of his lab but right now <clears throat> let's talk about this damn juice okay so it's got three flavors okay so the bottles you know they're not cartoonish um it's a lot going on on the bottles it's you know it's all based on like a circus i would believe um so he's got three one's called lion tamer okay that's this one okay, so this is probably the easiest one to read as far as the label labeling now i'll post up their their site because you can't see the the detail of the picture on the bottle really good with this camera and this lighting right now so okay, lion tamer so lion tamer uh, tame the beast they say a rich cinnamon apple custard with a rich bakery notes and a slight touch of hazelnut okay this one is really good it says it, it tastes like what it says it's got the apple the cinnamon and the hazelnut the hazelnut really makes it complex it's really really good I, if you like rich, full flavor e juice, this is it. This is it. It's got. It's full of flavor. It's very rich. Um, it's very, very tasty. Um, now they don't. They don't give the PG VG ratio. Um, it does says. It does say max VG. Let me touch it. I'm, I'm dealing with my phone, <clears throat> so. Let's see if it gives the PG VG ratio. It does not give the PG VG ratio. Okay, um, and you only can get this in three and six uh, nick levels. Okay, so guys, it's on zero. I don't know. Maybe reach out to him. Maybe he can make a batch of zero, but it's only in three and six. This one is a definite go. I got that one in this bill. Let me take a tote. You get the apple cinnamon and you get that fucking hazelnut. The hazelnut takes it over the top. It's really, really tasty. If I had to give this one a 1 to 10, this one would get a solid 8.5. It's really, really good. Now, the consistency of it, it does, if I had to guess, I would say 80 20. Um, yeah, but it does say max VG. It's really tasty. You can barely taste the nick. It's no, it's really a clean, tasting juice. It's really good. Now, it does come in these amber bottles. Sometimes I love and hate these amber bottles um, because I can never tell. I have to hold it up to the light to see how much I got left. Um, I hate that in one sense, and then I love it because I think I got more than what's in there, but <clears throat> it comes in these amber bottles with a child-proof top, um, but it, it's a glass bottle, and just like all glass bottles, if you dripping off of them and you set them down, it's going to be a ring around the table. I get it. Um, why they use them, you know, I, I'm a fan of plastic. If it's really good, you know, it ain't going to last that long in plastic. But <clears throat> it comes in these glass bottles, and, you know, it hasn't been leaking around the top or anything. But, you know, you do get that ring, that ring, ring of death <laughs> around on your table. Okay, so the prices of them, the prices are $17 for 30 mil. That's not bad. 
that's not bad. You know, most of the time, you know, you get a premium, really good juice is 20, 22 bucks for 30 mil. So this is $17 for 30 mil. Okay, so it's not bad. So let's talk about the next one. Acrobat. Okay, so out of the three, you know, I like them all, but this was my least favorite but it's still really good. Let me read the description of Acrobat. A strawberry custard pie that will have you wishing uh, your Addy had more spit back. Sweet strawberries, creamy vanilla custard with bakery notes that does not disappoint, okay? And it's different from the rest, that's what it says. Okay, so this this does taste like a strawberry custard. It's, it's good, it's good. But out of the three, it's my least favorite, but it's still really, really good. It tastes just like what it says. Um, you do get that. A, a lot of custard in the in the strawberry. It's it's a clean. It's good. It's good. But you know, one of them's got to be my least favorite, and that one is this one. Um, you know, I've been dibbling and dabbling in strawberry custards and strawberry vanillas, and I kind of got my favorite. This is not my favorite strawberry vanilla, but it's really really good. So if I had to give this one. Uh, <clears throat> 1 to 10, this will get a strong, strong 7.5. It's really, really good, though. It's it's clean. Um, the strawberry doesn't taste fake. It, it's it's good. It's good. He nailed it. He nailed it with these three flavors. You know, sometimes that's good when a company, you know, they just, they don't have 100 flavors. They just got, you know, a handful, and they concentrate on making those handful really good. And I see that's what he did. This is good. Okay, so now we're going to move on to my favorite one. My favorite one, Freak Show. Comes in a bottle like this. Now, this bottle is busy as shit. It's busy as a fuck. I mean, what the fuck is on it? It's like a, it's, it's got to be at least 50 guys on this joint. 50 people. It's got weirdos on it. It's got, it's got all kind of shit. Like clowns, pig. You know, you know that show, Freak Show? You know, it's an A and E special show. It, it it looks like that. It looks like all the weirdos that's in the clown. I mean, in the uh, circus, they're on this bottle. Now, my camera's not really picking it up really good, but it's a lot going on on this damn this label. Okay. Now, it's not kitty because it. You know, a kid look at this, he might get scared. Um, but it does says big top craft e juice on it. Now, the other ones, <clears throat> it, you you it, it, you're kind of hard pressed to see big top. Well, you can see it, but it's like all blended in there. Now, this one is my favorite. Let's talk about my favorite. The description on this one says, Picture pulling up in a drive-thru at your favorite ice cream place, a soft serve vanilla ice cream piled high on a cake cone short to please. It's good. It tastes like vanilla, vanilla uh, ice cream with some kind of a sugary cone. It's really, 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 really good. Now, I have that in, in this bad boy. Let me take a toe. So good. So good. You can almost taste the cone on the inhale and taste the ice cream on the exhale. It's really, really good. This is by far my favorite. Um, it's good. It's not like your average vanilla custard. You get that that sugary cone in it. It's really, really good. Let me take a toe. Really good. Now, this is the second thing that I'm going to show you guys. This is this Goblin Mini. I'm going to have to go on the close-up and show you this because my lighting is all off today. Let's see. Can you see that? It's a Goblin Mini. I'm going to do a little close-up on it so you guys can see it. Um, this video is probably going to be long as shit. But it's a Goblin Mini. It gets its airflow from the bottom. It has this little knob on here where you can control the airflow. I can cut it off. No air. You see that bubble? It was wicking. Um, and then you can open it up like so. Almost flooded it by sucking on it. But... <clears throat> This is a new tank by UD. Um, it, I'm not giving a review on it. You know, I've got about three or four builds on it, and I will say this. It's good. It, it, it's good. I don't have any leaking issues. Um, it is small, as you'll see in the close-up, um, but it's good. The flavor is outstanding. But, again, any type of RTA, 
as far as it, how it works and how it wicks and all that stuff, that's 100% up to you. That's 100. Now, sometimes there is some type of flaws in it, but building these things, it's 100% on your skill set, okay? 100, 110%. Um, the basic design is just like the old Goblin, Goliath, you know, you build two coils. But this one has an option to do a single coil. I'll show you the little insert. I probably won't show you the insert on here because I have coils in here and I'm not going to take the coils out. Like I said, it's not a review. I'm just showing it to you. So let's, let me show it to you right now. Oh, by the way, let me tell you where you can get this juice at. <clears throat> you can get this juice at Uncle Mike's Elixirs, LLC. I'll post the link below, but all of them are $17. And if you're looking for a rich full flavor, <laughs> freak show. I forgot to tell you, that one right there gets a solid nine. It gets a solid, solid nine. That is really, really good. If you try them, try Freak Show first, Lion Tamer, and you strawberry nuts. You guys can go straight for the Acrobat. But me, Freak Show, it's outrageous. It's off the fucking chains. It's good. It's good. You won't be disappointed. I can't see nobody not liking that. That is really, really good. It's really good. Let me take another tub. This is that strawberry. They're all really good and smooth. Let's just dive up close before I keep talking. 11 minutes. Let's just dive up. Okay, guys. Here's the box that it comes in. You know, it's just a typical UD box. It has a little seal on it. Your QR code. A little bit of information on the bottom. Okay, so when you first open it up, you get this little card right here. And it gives you a little bit of specs on it. Um, it tells you about... Uh, it has four four millimeter juice feeding channels. Um, it has a piece for a single coil, um, 304 stainless steel. Uh, height is 28.6 millimeters, excluding drip tip and 510 thread. Uh, it's 22 millimeters, and the juice capacity is three millimeters. I mean, mm, three mils, <laughs> three millimeters. Okay, so here's what comes in the box. Okay, so let's start with the main thing. No, let's start with the, okay, so you can see it comes with this glass drip tip, and it also comes with the spare drip tip, okay? Now, you can use your, now, these are not 510 size, so you can use your own drip tip, and it comes with a little, an adapt, a little adapter that's in here now. It also comes with a spare glass. So, this adapter, you can use your own 510 drip tip, and it's really easy. You just pull this off, Slap that on, like so, and then you just slap your own drip tip on, okay? So it's really easy, um, and it fits in there pretty snug, so <clears throat> don't see no problems of the drip tip coming off, okay? So here's the bottom, as your 510, and here's the airflow, okay? So you can see as I'll try to close this off. So, so your coil sit right above that airflow. Now, the only problem now, I don't know if this is going to be the regular production model, um, you know, unit, but <clears throat> the only problem, well, a problem that I see is this uh, fill port. Okay, so it's not the fill port that's the problem; it's that flat head. Sometimes working with really, really small flat heads can be a pain. I wish it was a Phillip head. Um, they just tend to, you know, you can trap them with your screwdriver a little bit better especially if your screwdriver is magnetized you know it kind of fits up in there it's hard working with a uh, flathead screw that small okay so here's the juice I mean the airflow control which it works pretty good and let me screw it on a device so you can see how it looks now with this one it always lines up perfect <clears throat> okay so it always lines up with the but the airflow right in the front, as you can see that, and then the airflow is in the back, okay? And this is the airflow control ring right there in the back, okay? So you just slide it. You do have to reach in there with your nail to grab it. It's not the easiest to grab, but if you have nails, it won't be no problem, or you can stick something in there. Now, it's not really loose, so it's not going to be, you know, adjusting on its own once you set it you can pretty much forget it but that's how it looks on the you know on a mod now if it, it always lines up perfect on this when the air's in the front and in the back okay so let me take this back off 
All right, so I'm going to open this bad boy up. Now, how I, when I first got it, it was kind of difficult to open because it was really tight. So what I did was I just grabbed one of these edges right here with my fingernail and then just started to turn, okay? And then you turn, okay? So as you can see, these threads up here, you can see that, catch these threads in here, okay? And it's not a lot of threads. Once that glass is in there, it's not a lot of threads. Now, now it's scrolling all the way down, but with that glass, you only catch two, two threads. You know, it's only like a good two solid turns. I'll show you when I put it on. So this is pushed down. And that's it. It's that's it. It's it's not a lot of threads. As you can see, that chimney sits right on the edge of it. Okay, but it does catch. Um, I haven't had any problems with the catching. So let me pull it apart. <clears throat> All right. So let me show you the chimney. Now this piece does come off. So it has threads on the top with the O-ring, and there's your chimney. Okay. And this is the top cap. It has a clear O-ring in here, which you get a spare of in the bag of goodies. And this screws on like, like so. And your glass drip tip, it actually fits into this chimney. It fits into that. Okay. So there's an O ring in there to hold this glass drip tip, if I can get it in there. Yeah, like so. Okay. Put this back on. Now here's the deck. Okay, so let me screw this piece off if I can get it off. God damn. <clears throat> I had it on upside down anyway. Okay, so here's the deck. Okay, so let's see if this thing will focus. Those are 2.5 millimeter diameter coils. So now you may be able to get three in there. You, you just couldn't use like 24 gauge or, or lower. Um, this right here is 25 gauge, and I believe this is like eight wraps, I believe. Um, <clears throat> and it fit in there, no problem. Let me put this top back on the right side this time so you can see how much room was in there. Okay, so those are 2.5 millimeters. Three may be stretching it. I think this is probably the highest you can go. Okay. Let me heat it up so maybe you can see it better. Those are three. 2.5 millimeter in diameter. Let me take this off. I'll just leave it on. Okay. So the airflow is right underneath your coils. Let me. Sorry, guys. It's like nothing to grab on, and I don't want to burn the shit out of my hands. But you can see right. That's right to your coils. You can see your coils from there. Okay. So if it drips, like if you over, if for some reason this thing leaks, it's going to leak right down onto your mark, right underneath, you know, <clears throat> right at your 510. Okay. So if it leaks, now I have put three different builds in here, and I guess it's all in the way you wick. I haven't had any leaking, any leaking. Like when I take this off, the only thing that's down there is like residue from, you know, the, the, the vapor. It's like right now I, I didn't even clean this off and it's pretty dry. 
So that's that. And it's a four post design. The negatives are a little bit lower than the positives. I'm not going to take these build out. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just showing it to you. This is not a review. I'm just showing you the ins and out. I uh, figured I had it. I'll just show it to you. <clears throat> All right. So I'll pause this and wick it up and show you how it looks wicked. And then I just push it up, try to get it up as possible. I don't stuff it in the juice wells when it's this small. That's just me. Now, you guys, I'm not telling you guys how to do it. That's just me and how I do mine. And right, then I try to get this over here all at once. It's okay if one doesn't. Okay, and then I screw it down. Once I got it like so, it's all sticking up a little crazy. I just gently just poke it down in front of the wells. That might be a little bit too much content. So let me cut some of that off. And that's it. I just stuff it down there a little bit like that, and it's good to go. Now, I did my first three or four wicks like that, and I had no leaking issue. All right, so let me put it back on, put it back together, and I'll fill this bad boy up on camera. First time filling something up on camera. <clears throat> now, this is the only con for me, this, this little flathead. I know it's going to be a bitch getting that bitch back in on camera, okay? So there it is a hole. Take my syringe. I got like a little less than three mils of juice in here. Just fill it up. That's that. Dogs are uh, barking at the mailman. I got it. All right, that's it. So let's just go back up top and um, I'll tell you my thoughts on it. <clears throat> So yeah, <clears throat> I showed you this uh, Goblin Mini. Um, another little con, you know, is the, the drip tip adapter, okay? <clears throat> I have noticed that I forgot to mention, it does fit down in there good when you get it down in there, okay? So let's pull this out <clears throat> and let's stick the drip tip adapter in there. It'll pop out. If it's not seated correctly, it will pop. See how it popped out? it'll pop out so you know it sometimes it'll pop out if it's not seated because it's an o-ring down in there and you pull it and you see how it popped out a little bit so <clears throat> I guess that could be a con well yeah I'm, it definitely could be a con but I'm sure you know I'm going to email them and tell them I appreciate them sending it to me for a review early um but you know <laughs> this one says sample on it I can't find the word sample on this one, so I'm sure there's samples and they're probably going to revise them a little bit, okay? But that is one little con, it, it doesn't see them properly. So, but I have been using the little glass drip tip. You now that does seat in there fine. Once you get it in there, it seats in there fine. And it doesn't get hot with, with the build that I have on it. The build that I have on it right now is a, uh, it's 3.3 <clears throat> and I'm vaping at 44 watts and that's 4 volts. So that's what I'm vaping at right now. 
And the flavor is outstanding. Let me jack it up to 50. Let's see. And it keeps up. I can see it wicking. It keeps up. Right now it's at 50 watts. Let's see. 51.1 watts. It keeps up. But all of that is going to depend on your wicking. Okay? So I showed you how I wick mine. I haven't had any problems like that. I try not to stuff it down in those channels. I try to, like, just push it down where it's on top of the channel. That way the juice has, a, you know, a way to get up. Now, as far as leaking through those drip holes, let me take this off and show it to you. You guys, I then took a couple couple puffs on it and the top of my bad boy it's got a little residue on it you know where the air holes in the front and the back as I showed you it, it fits on there perfect but that's just a little residue just from the vapor you, get, you know what I mean sometimes when you blow in you're gonna put residue down on your your mod okay <clears throat> other than that man I've really been enjoying this little thing now I will be talking about the Goliath version 2 I'm going to play with it some more. I'll give you guys a, a real review on that in a couple of days. Um, right now, I'm playing with the pre-built coil. I'll build some coils, and I'll throw some Zephyrus coils on there. I guess that's how you say it. <clears throat> but that one, <clears throat> that one's got some changes on it as well. And I found a few cons on that one. So let me wrap this up, because I'll keep talking and talking and talking. This juice, though. Good God. Big Top. What is it? I keep forgetting the name. Big Top, uh, Big Top Craft E-Liquid. God damn, that fucking Freak Show. Freak Show is a bomb. I'm telling you, it's the bomb. I really enjoy it. My taste buds love it, love it, love it. They should start making big bottles of that shit. That shit is delicious. Try that shit out. Big Top Elixirs. Um, they only sell it at Uncle Mike's Elixirs. I'll post the link. But other than that, that's all I really got. I'm going to try to stay out of that drama with the uh, with the posters already. I'm going to try to stay out of that right now. So, yeah, I was supposed to upload a video. I know I talked about uploading that. I am going to make another video, but I'm going to try to stay out of the drama because, you know, you never can believe, you know, what's going on on the Internet. Yeah. You know, somebody got caught up in that before, and I don't know if the facts are all there. So let me, let me take a toke and say goodbye. Um, if you know somebody that's on the stinkies and they've mentioned to you that they want to stop smoking, you got some old equipment, you got some higher nicotine juice that you don't use anymore that's just going to sit there and go bad, give them your old equipment. Give them some of your shit that you don't use anymore, explain the battery safety, tighten up the airflow because they're looking for a cigarette type, you know, tight draw. Give it to them, let them try it out for a week and tell them, hey, in a week or so, if they like it, get back with you and you'll tell them where they can get their own. When you, get, when you send them to get their own, try to get them a 20 or 30 watt device, you know, to start out. Something that they can grow with. They can still stick those clear rolls on top of that. They can even stick drippers on the top of it. They can even stick sub on clear, I mean, yeah, sub tanks on the top of them. Just make sure they get the right coils, okay? So, again, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And until the next time, if you can, pay it forward.